Hello guys, today we are gonna build Pomodoro timer with two widget, timer and progress bar. Before this time, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe the channel. My videos generally are watching by unsubscribers and if you could subscribe my channel, this will motivate me more and you will not miss any videos. Thank you. I wanna start with my widget tree. First widget is timer. Timer will help us about count time down. We will decide minutes or seconds with countdown time. Ok, our next widget is progress bar. This will help us about show user time as graphic. We will also have three buttons. These buttons will help us to use actions for timer's value. So we will need custom action for this system. I created the code for us and I am showing you code and arguments. It is super easy to create custom action. You can go to my Boy Me a Coffee account and find article in post section. Link in the description. Let's start with system. We will configure page state. First page state is an integer and help us to decide time value for progress bar. Second state is a boolean. This state will help us about timer action workflow. You can set page states like I did. Now we can set values. Click progress bar. Value will be custom function. Timer time argument will be widget state, timer time. Decided minute will be page state, timer value. Ok, we finished progress bar. Let's set actions for buttons. Click start timer button and go to action section. Our first action will be update page state. Select timer active state. Update type will be toggle value. Our second value will be timer action. Timer action type will be start timer. We will set some actions for other buttons, just we will change timer action types. I am showing you how you should change types. Perfect. We will set conditional visibility for buttons. Click start timer button and switch conditional visibility on. Choose single condition. First value will be widget state, timer active. Second value will be false. We will set same condition for stop timer button. Just we will change second value as true. This will arrange button visibility with status of timer active boolean value. And lastly we will also change value of timer. You must set same actions in page state value and timer value. Otherwise your Pomodoro timer will work wrong. Ok let's test our timer.
we have just finished this tutorial, so what do you think about this Pomodoro timer system? It still can be improved as design and if you want me to improve design and better functionality, you can comment below. I can make part 2 for this tutorial. If you think this video is helpful for you, you can like the video and subscribe my channel. With this way, you can also help me to reach more people and this is really really good motivating to bring new tutorials about Flutterflow. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.